What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that all of you guys are enjoying your Saturday. So Marlo Hampton and Sonia Richards Ross will not be returning to the Sweet 16 season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So Marlo made a statement. I want to read it really quickly. She says, quote, my contract with Real Housewives of Atlanta ended when season 15 wrapped. This break from Roa is a fresh start, allowing me the space to participate in new creative entertainment projects focused on my future and not reliving my past. I look forward to my continued relationship with Bravo and NBC Universal. And then she has the peach emoji. Um, I know that's right. Okay, keep it professional, keep it classy. You know what I mean? Like, keep those bridges open for new checks in the future. Because even though you lost your peach, NBC Universal, they have, you know, so many different avenues. I believe that they're the parent company of Lifetime. And, you know, even Nini, who previously sued them, um, she is working on Lifetime. So hopefully, you know, they mended that bridge and um, moving forward, you, you want to keep things open so that you can work together in the future because the entertainment business is very small. People talk and you want to be as marketable as possible. She adds, she says, my nephews are transitioning into pivotal stages of their academic adolescence. And I'm focused on my representation in their eyes and getting back to showing my multifaceted lifestyle of philanthropy, fashion, and fabulosity. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I'm like, what in the TI? <laughs> um, just, you know, extended, exorbitant vocabulary is going on, Marlo. Um, she says, I am thankful for this amazing platform of Housewives, which has allowed me to bring awareness to foster care, my nonprofit Glam It Up Incorporated, and showcase my fashion showroom, Lay Archive. I look forward to my continued relationship. Okay, yeah, with Bravo. Um, this is a people article, so I'm just trying to skim. But yeah, you know, listen, absolutely, right? Moving forward, onward and upward. Hampton's exit comes two years after she was made a full-time housewife. She first appeared on the franchise back on season four. Wow. She's been on since season four as a former friend of um, cast member Nene Leakes. She returned in season six, eight, nine as a guest. Was a friend again, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Oh, my goodness. Marlo, that's putting in work. You hear me? time. Along the way, Hampton and her shady reads, <laughs> people are so messy, um, proved to be a fan favorite, leading to a social media campaign demanding that she be promoted, something that Bravo delivered in season 14 and 15. And I remember that, right? Because here's the thing, she had been a friend since season four. She absolutely deserved that peach. Now, when she was on there um, as a full-time housewife, Unfortunately, it just it wasn't giving what we would have hoped that she could give, right? Like she really rubbed me the wrong way, um, tossing her nephews out of her house, similarly to, you know, her own experience. And I listen, you know, with like Monique and her son, the whole situation, if you do not heal you know, old wounds from your childhood, that trauma tends to manifest itself <clears throat> oftentimes in like really um, unwanted patterns, behavioral patterns in your life. So I'm hoping that Marlo, you know, I know that she hired a life coach to kind of, you know, offer her guidance when she's raising her nephews. But my hope is that she gets a licensed therapist. No shade to the life coach, because I'm sure that she's doing a really great job. But Marlo, when she did that, <clears throat> it said to me, okay, she definitely has a lot of unresolved childhood trauma issues. And like a lot of that stuff she was projecting on Candy, if you guys remember, she was like, you know, well, Candy, you were raised better, which I mean... No shade to Mama Joyce. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Um, but I mean, yeah, you know, I'm sure because she was in the foster care system and she was expecting Candy to help her with, um, I think, like getting her record expunged and some other things. But those things aren't Candy's responsibility, right? And so I really hope that, you know, Marlo can take this time um, away from, you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta, focus on her nephews, parenting them, but also um, just her own healing journey. Like that is huge because if you don't address those childhood traumas and those issues and they resurface, especially in those same patterns, that's, that's heartbreaking and devastating. Um, she says, quote, it's still surreal to me, adding that she wouldn't feel like the role was really real until she watched her show, herself on the show. <clears throat> she says, I have this peach and I'm excited. So this is what she told people back in April of 2022. But lower ratings and conflicting cast dynamics have pushed the network to make big changes to Real Housewives of Atlanta. The series paused production for months and reworked the Housewives with Andy Cohen explaining at BravoCon in 2023 in November that the Real Housewives of New York City style reboot um, wouldn't be coming, but the show would be using certain stars as their anchors. He says, I've, I always love building with what we have. I think that Atlanta has some really strong building blocks that are already there and we have a growth opportunity for Atlanta. So those building blocks have become clear this month um, with the news that Candy Burris, of course, you guys know that she um, has chosen to depart the show after 14 years, that Portia Williams will be coming back after a two season absence. The other um, stars, Kenya Moore, which she said essentially that she's returning. Um, Drew Sedora, I think that she's returning. Sheree Whitfield, I hope that Sheree is, is returning. Um, Sheree, unfortunately, doesn't share a lot of her life. Um, I'm watching her on The Traders, and Sheree, even on that show, right? She's very reserved. She's very quiet. Um, Phaedra is doing a phenomenal job on The Traders, by the way. But Phaedra is uh, playing it very safe. And, th and that makes for, you know, kind of boring television. So I'm hoping that if she does come back, which I'm hoping that she does come back, that she opens up a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like she's now a glamma. I'm glad that, you know, she broke things off with Martel because that was a mess and a half. Um, <clears throat> talk about somebody needing therapy, child. But um, yeah, and so Senya, you know, Richard Ra Ross is not coming back um, either, right? So we know that... Sanya is unfortunately not returning. Um, she did not get her peach, but you know, again, that will give her a chance to focus on her family, her husband, you know, her new baby, her career, things like that. I don't think that anybody is um, a housewife. <laughs> like I'm looking at their lineup and I know that they're gonna bring in some new people, which is great. And I'm hoping that these new women that they bring on are actually housewives because I'm thinking um, almost everyone is divorced. And I will say this, Portia and Kenya, <sighs> child, they have so much in common. I'm thinking one of the reasons why they clash so much is because they're, they're too much alike. And, <laughs> and what, I, what I mean by that, is that they are both mothers to young daughters. They both are divorced or, well, Portia's in the, she filed yes, recently, um, but after like a very short time to men who are, um, have questionable character traits. I'll say that right with Mark Daly and Simon Gabadia. They're just, they're very similar. They are very, very similar. So my hope is that this Sweet 16 season, um, they can see those similarities and they can work together, um, not only in, you know, raising their, their daughters, but also, you know, building, coming to a truce and, and building their platforms <clears throat> to elevate themselves because, yeah, they are literally two peas in a pod. 
Kenya and Portia. But you guys, let me know your thoughts on uh, Sonia and Marlo not coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And I will talk with you in the next one. Take care, aces. Bye.